Well, we are here to show that the Bible is wonderful. I think this is the, the, the second or the third or the fourth, I don't remember, video about that. We will, uh, we will write about that. But anyway, we, it is, now it's another, another way to show that the Bible is uh, wonderful. We, we will talk now about water. Water is very simple in our life. Every day we use water a thousand times. And, uh, but water is something really special. Scientists know uh, very few things about water. Uh, same about light. We know about light, uh, light. We know the colors, infrared rays and uh, super violet rays and then some ray about rays about uh, x rays gamma rays but it's very little five percent of light same is for water we know science know very little about water just the water we use but but the water is much more because the Bible say, and the scientists confirm <laughs> that water is special, but the Bible say that water comes from eternity. In Genesis 1, in the first verses, it is written that God created earth and heaven. And not water. But the Spirit of God were produ was producing, produced strong vibration, we told in the last video, strong vibrations, in presence of water. In the presence. In the presence of water. As in the other video, this is my teacher <laughs> correct me because I want to be sure that you can understand. And my English is not so good, so thank you. In the presence of water. And then come light, the base of life. But water was already there. That's the point. Comes from eternity. It's in interesting. It was already there, it was not created. And also in the end of the Bible, Revelation book 22, we can see the river of life that goes to eternity. Everything will be changed, new heaven, new earth, but earth. But not new water. <laughs> the water will be that, in that moment, the river of eternal life. So the water is really something special. And, uh, uh, in the, into the Bible. And now we will see uh, a simple structure of what water is in the Bible. Of course this is a simple structure because in the Bible there is so much more about what I wrote here. For example the water from the rock, the water into uh, blood, the water into vine, Jesus and so on, many things about water. But this is a, a kind of a simple general from creation from eternity to eternity, main things about water. In the beginning, was, water was there in creation, coming from eternity, as I told. And uh, the light um, has something, has some relation to water, to hydrogen of water. Water is H2O, <laughs> is water. And this hydrogen has to do something. Hydrogen. <coughs> hydrogen has to do something with the uh, light, vibrations and so on. But now this is not the point. Water was there from eternity. Through water came, by action of Holy Spirit, light, life, crea all creation is based on light. As we told, Einstein told that energy and uh, masses are related through light. Nopus, who is uh, speed, light speed. So, in the creation, water was very important, as we told. The Holy Spirit and water made vibrations. The Holy Spirit made, made vibration using water. And vibration goes to life, and life is the base of life. Then, another important moment of water in the Bible is the flood. The, every man, every person, became very bad, very corrupted. The world became terrible and the Lord decided to stop everything and to start again and destroyed every person through flood. Every living, not only person, every living being with the flood. So the water that covered everything 
for that. Then we have the Red Sea, when the people of Israel go back uh, from Egypt and cross Red Sea. And the water now make, uh, the water of the Red Sea make two walls dry, dry and two walls, one right and one left. The water parted. Yes, and the people went Through. on dry, dry land between two water walls. And that's interesting, that is the coming, it is the first representation of coming out from the world. When you become believer, you go out from the world, out from Egypt, out from the world. And then you go to a new place, out from slavery place, out from sin place, out from devil place, and you go in something new. But you have to walk, and then come the Jordan River, to cross the Jordan River. And that, this time is only one wall of water, not two, only one wall of water, and the rest of water went, one wall. And the Jordan River is, the uh, same as Red Sea was coming out from old, from Egypt, from the world, now the Jordan is going in, into a new land, the, the Holy Land, in, into, from the world to Seurakunta, to the church, to the believer, believer assembly, believer family, the body of Christ. And this is, this is Jordan River, the, the sign of this going to a new reality, the church, believers uh, family, the body of Christ, the spouse of Jesus, the, the, the bride, how is, is this correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we call to the living water, Jesus. Jesus come. Jesus is God and comes as man. It is still perfectly God, but becomes perfectly man. And this is the living water. Jesus told, I am the living water. I am the water. I am the true water. I am the living water. And that's the, the point, the central point of the structure. Jesus, the living water. And then we have again the Jordan River. When Jesus goes to be baptized into the Jordan River, that's the beginning of Jesus' ministry in, in the world. It starts, his service, it starts from Jordan River. And now we have a, a new dimension of water, of what water is in the Bible. From baptism of Jesus in Jordan River on, we have a new era, a new something new <laughs> in the teaching, in the life, in the universe, something completely new. Jesus speaks, Jesus gives teaching, Jesus gives life. And then, Jesus told, John 7, 37, 39, Jesus told, Jesus tell, and now I, I'm thinking in Finnish, <laughs> uh, when some people has a, a drink, want to drink, how is it, is it thirsty? When they are thirsty. Thirsty, come to me and drink, son, tell Jesus, come to me, if you are thirsty, come to me and drink. Because from my bosom, from my inside, will come rivers of life. So, when Jesus makes his teaching, uh, rivers of life come from him, from Jesus. Rivers of living water. Yeah, living water. And it's the same as a tsunami around him. Goes around him. And you take, if you take these and you drink that water, you become, you get the Holy Spirit. This is the John 7, 37, 39. If you take the water that comes from Jesus, you get Holy Spirit. You are a believer and you get Holy Spirit inside you. So, water again, the living water in Jesus. And then, when you become believer, you get baptism. And baptism is related to flood. Because now it's, we told it's a new era, a new 
system, something completely new. And uh, same as flood was covering everything with water for that, now when you are a believer and you get baptism, you go underwater, completely underwater, you, uh, water covers you, but not for that, but for life this time. The blood was water again, cover everything for that, and now baptism, cover all the person for life. It is not the baptism that gives salvation, of course, it is Jesus with living water from him. If you believe in him, it is written in this verse, believe in him and you will get living water, you will be believer, you will be. But that's, this is the testimony of what happened in you. You are now believer and you get baptism. So the water again cover you completely, but you don't die. You go out and you show that you have a new life. It's the same when when in the Old Testament came fire from the from the heaven, fire and and was um, burning all the victim, burning. In Apostolian Theot, in uh, Acts chapter two, come fire from heaven over first believers, but do not destroy. Fire without destroying over on the on the first believer. Fire, come fire, but fires do not destroy. Why? Because Jesus has been destroyed. Jesus paid. Now I am living sacrifice. Roman letter chapter twelve, verse one and two. Living sacrifice. Romans twelve one through two. Yeah, Roman twelve one and two. Yeah. Living sacrifice. So now we are sacrificed, but living, not destroyed, as in Old Testament. So, baptism is related to flood, covered by water, but for life, not for death. And then, in the last is the river of life, Revelation book, uh, chapter 22. The river of life with the uh, uh, tree, uh, element tree, and so on, uh, you can read uh, at the last book of the Bible, for water from eternity to eternity. So this water is something special in the Bible and something special also for scientists, for science. And now we see one particular thing about water. When you speak, you produce vibration through vocal cords. When we speak, we produce vibration. For example, when we call someone by telephone, uh, you speak and vibrations cor uh, that correspond to your words goes to the microphone that vibrates. Then you make a number and you send this vibration to another telephone through air in the air, not microphone but re receiver, and the same vibration you had given here are received here, the same vibration. So the same words, same vibration produce the same words. Then this goes to the vib vi to the membrane, um, how is it in English, the, that, that vibrate Eardrum. into air. Eardrum. Yes, and vibration here inside goes to the brain and you get words and meaning. So it's, when you speak, you give you produce vibrations, and someone made some uh, experiment, some experiments, some about this, about water and vibration. If you speak, you have water in presence of water. If you speak and you tell good words, as for example, love, joy, uh, worship, uh, uh, friendship, uh, I will do it. Uh, yes, uh, go on be happy <laughs> and so on. I, I like you, I appreciate you, all, all this kind of thing. When you tell good words to the water sorry? When you speak good words to the water yeah, to the water, in presence of water, you speak and you say love, 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 love. If you make the water come um, ice, if you give uh, 
with uh, something, uh, of course, some special equipment, we make the water become ice. You produce crystal. The water produces crystal like this. And you make pictures of water that becomes ice while you are speaking good words or bad words. Hate, uh, devil and so on. I will never reach that. I am without hope. hope. Something like that. Good or bad words give on water relation, uh, vibrations, good vibration or bad vibrations. And it's incredible, but it is scientific, it is not my opinion. And I'm not interested in some people that are looking there to Buddhist religion things. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the fact, scientific fact, that when water becomes ice and while you pronounce good words, you have good, beautiful crystals, as this one. This is uh, mm, hope. <laughs> if you speak hope, 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 and water become ice, this is the beautiful crystal for hope. You, uh, every crystal has six points, six, uh, I don't know, rays, mm -hmm. six rays, uh, and uh, this is really beautiful. But when we speak uh, bad words, for example, devil, look this, this is devil. When you speak devil, 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 or with water, and you make water ice, this is the, the situation. You have no crystal. You look this. We have no more crystals. The water reacts in a very terrible way. It, some, it is uh, as uh, water become crazy. It is not able to make crystals. It makes something strange like this when you speak devil. When you speak hope, that's a scientific fact. It is not just an opinion. What is this, for example? There are, of course, many examples. This is joy. Joy, in this way. And uh, when you speak joy, 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 here are one, two, three, four, five, six. But one of the, of the uh, rays is divided into seven. It seems seven in perfection, uh, the number of perfection. This is the only one with seven. In reality, are six, but very strange. One becomes two of these rays. But uh, anyway, it is uh, very harmonic, very, very good, very beautiful uh, uh, crystal. And uh, I think uh, I have another example. Yes, this is worship. Worship. Worship is interesting. Of course, there are hundreds of, of these examples, but worships, worship is interesting because it is a, a, a crown, a, a kind of crown, crown of crystals. Uh, can you see? One, two, three, three. But they make all together one crystal of water. Worship. Look, beautiful. And this is a I repeat, it's important, something scientific, it is not an opinion. That, what, that is what happens when water becomes ice, while you are pronouncing good words or bad words. But some of you could ask, but it is the same in every language. <laughs> because, for example, in Finnish, Mina Rakastan. Sino. For example, in Italian, in English, I love you. Completely different. Racastan. It seems different. So, love. Love. Italian, amore. Liubov, Russian. Rakos, Finnish. It seems strange. But it is true in every language. Because when people made, the, after the Babel Tower, the confusion of tongue, it was a terrible moment. Because the Bible says that each person after Babel, Genesis 10, after the Tower of Babel, confused the languages. But it is not that he makes uh, English, German, Italian, no. The Bible says that every person spoke a different language from all the others. The mother did not know the language of the song. 
the son did not know the language of the father, of the mother, of the brother. Every person in the world spoke a different language. That was a crazy time. People become crazy. And the civilization was broken and fall, fell down. And they started again with fire, with <laughs> because they could not understand nothing. Imagine now, each one of the people of the world, the six uh, billions and five hundred million, each one speak another language. You go out and you don't know nothing about what are you driving, what are you, about books. No, not, you don't know nothing. You don't know. Everyone speak a different language. How can you go to train by car to tell? Nothing. And then slowly, the, and the civilization was really fell down. And when, you, when, when people talk about uh, people that uh, was with the uh, stones, uh, that's the, the time of f f falling down of civilization after confusion of language. But anyway, then, later, slowly they started to make languages. The wife and the, and the, and the husband, for example, the wife take a stone and say, make this, but the, under, the husband did not know what? Make this, what? And take the stone, to make this! Oh yeah, maybe that, what this? Stone, 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 to, to stone, it's not good. And the stone and came uh, one word, stone. And then uh, um, take this, uh, so started again with a practical way to build the language, one word, two words, three words, ten words, and slowly they made language. But how the languages came alive? With the feelings inside, every culture, every person developed the language, the words, from inside the feelings. For example, I am angry, in Italian, arrabbiato for example. It is really or running, correre, running, gets the idea. And so um, camminare slowly, slowly, for example. Uh, every every people from his nature, Nordic people for example, had Finnish people had uh, lunta, snow, coldness and so oh yes rak I mean rakasta it needs to, to to warm and Italians, io ti amo. Yes, I love you, but stay a little, not, not so near, <laughs> just good. <laughs> but Finnish people have more need to war with each other. So, mina rakasta, I love you, is really, yes, I love you. Now Americans tell always, I love you. No, <laughs> it is true, because it means, yes, I appreciate you, and so. Every culture got every got their words. So it is true this problem that vibrations gives different effects on water. It is true in every language because every word comes in different cultures from the feeling inside and from the situation. Situation when there is more light or less light, more cold or more warm, and that's the point. So it is true for every language. What is the meaning now? I will finish with this consideration. Because every man and every woman, every, every human behind is made for se about 75% of water. We are 75% water. Each, each one of us, 75%. If I speak good words, I give vibration to you near me, good vibration, if I speak good words. If I speak bad words, I give around me bad vibration. The meaning is that if I give you good vibrations, 75 of you will get good vibration. You will react in a, in a beautiful way. If you make, for example, this. The, your water no, will not become ice, of course, but the, this is to, to show that our vibration of our words gives an influence around us. If I tell good, good words, I give to you around, around me and to me and to myself, I give good vibration and my behind, 75%, almost all of my behind, will be harmonic, sweet, uh, will be happy, <laughs> good in, every, in everything I will do. But if I give bad 
words bad vibrations and so my 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 75 percent of mine will be not harmonic very bad angry bitter not happy and so on so that the meaning is let's speak always in a good way with good words the bible say if you have anything good to say tell that if you don't have that don't tell nothing that's a good life um, principle life way life lesson life lesson lesson yes <laughs> thank you life lesson to speak always good with using good words the best uh, of good words are into the bible of course when we read the bible we give the best vibrations but even everything, I like uh, your hair, uh, I like what you have done, everything good gives good vibrations. And that's, I think, a very good uh, way of life. Always speak. If you have something good to say, I appreciate what you made. Sometimes people are not happy to tell that, I like what you made. Sometimes people are not, does not like. We like to be ourselves good we don't, that people say you are good but don't we don't like to say to others that they are but tell it everything you you can see everything you you meet in your life every day try to think good and to give good reactions with good words and good appreciations and uh, the, our life will be better so this is why the water is so special because it comes from eternity and goes to eternity water exactly water we are, we are not talking of uh, coca-cola <laughs> water just water is incredible in the bible it's beautiful and uh, uh, water has a great teaching and a great uh, way of living uh, what you said, living me method? What lesson. Lesson. Less. Less. <laughs> Less. A good, a great lesson. Uh, water gives a great lesson to us. Let's speak always good, as the Bible says. The Bible is wonderful.